So first thing I want to address is I got super tan on vacation and now my foundation is too light so I'm out here looking looking like two shades. Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Jessica. I hope you guys are having an awesome day today. In today's video, I am sharing with you guys all of my tips on how to spring clean your wardrobe. So in this video, we're going vlog style. I'm gonna take you guys along as I spring clean my closet and show you guys how I figure out what I need to get rid of what I'm keeping, how to get organized, and finally, the best one, how to make money just from cleaning out your closet using Poshmark. A huge thank you to Poshmark for partnering with me to make today's video possible. I'll talk a little bit more about Poshmark and how to make money a little bit later in the video, so stay tuned for that. If you guys are not subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe down below and join the family. And without any further ado, let's get to cleaning. So before we head over to my closet, I wanted to share with you guys a couple things that I feel like you kind of have to do before you start cleaning. Tip number one is you gotta get your cleaning outfit on. This is mine. I'm just wearing a long, kind of flowy, comfortable house dress, and I have my hair back. I feel like my outfit is very mom trying to wake you up at 8 a.m. on a Sunday to clean the entire house inspired. If you guys know that struggle, comment in the comment section down below because that was the worst. So once you're in comfortable clothes, the next thing you have to do is play some music. It is so much more fun to clean, and it definitely goes by a lot quicker if you have some music. We're at my closet now. We're gonna do this first. Then after we do the closet, we're gonna head over to my dresser, clean that out. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm looking for as I clean and how to decide what to get rid of, what to keep, and what to sell. All right, the first thing I'm finding is this dress. So you guys are probably wondering, Jessica, why are you getting rid of this? This is so cute. Why would you get rid of this? So the first thing you wanna look for when you're cleaning out your closet is stuff you don't wear. So I've had this dress for a couple months now and I've never worn it except for my try-on haul. I've never once wanted to wear it. There was always something cuter or something I wanted to wear more. So I'm gonna take that as a sign to get rid of it because if I'm not wearing it, I shouldn't keep it in my closet. Because this piece is in such great condition because I never wore it, I'm definitely going to sell this, make some money off of it. Once I finish going through my whole wardrobe, my closet, and my dresser, I have a nice pile of clothes I'm gonna be selling. I'm gonna show you guys how to list stuff on Poshmark so you guys can make some money too. The next thing I'm going to be getting rid of is this really cute blouse. I recently got sent this from Fashion Nova and I really, really love it, but I'm getting rid of it. The reason I'm getting rid of this incredibly cute top is because it doesn't fit. Unfortunately, this top is too tight around my arms. It's not comfortable. I've tried wearing it once, and you know how when you wear something throughout a day and you just get less and less happy as you're wearing it, and you're like, why did I wear this? That happened with this shirt. Because this blouse is brand new, it's super trendy, and I've only worn it once. I'm gonna sell this one too. There's my little selling pile so far. Moving on. This top. Oh my gosh, I think this is another really cute top. But, I've had it for a while and I haven't really worn it. So the thing with this top is it just, it doesn't look good on me. It doesn't really flatter my body shape. I think the ruffles make me look a little broad and I just, I can't get this to look as cute as I want it to look. So I'm gonna let this go. I've had it for a couple months and I just haven't worn it. This is the perfect vacation shirt and I just came back from a three week long vacation and I didn't bring it. So I'm gonna say that this is also something I should get rid of. And this, I am definitely going to be selling also. This top, it's really cute. It's a black sweater and it has these really cute bell ruffle sleeves. But the thing with this sweater is I have had this for a year now and I wore it, you know, a year ago all the time. And now fall just passed and winter just passed and it's spring now. I didn't wear this at all during fall or spring. This is just another piece that is not being worn and it's taking up space in my closet. So I'm gonna get rid of this and sell it too. This jacket, oh my gosh, as obsessed as I am with this jacket, I'm gonna get rid of it. Oh, you guys, isn't this the cutest jacket ever? If you guys watch my videos, you may have seen this in a haul. I got this at TJ Maxx on sale for $6. I hoped it fit and I was planning on keeping it if it did, but if it didn't, I was planning on selling it. So I tried it on, it doesn't fit. It's a very small fit, but it just doesn't. So I'm gonna list this because it doesn't fit and why keep something that doesn't fit? just so you can be sad that it doesn't fit. All right, another one bites the dust. To my selling pile. This coat is another example of types of things you should be looking for as you spring clean your closet. What do you guys notice about this coat? I'll tell you guys. 
it has a tag. If you guys have any unworn clothes with tags that have been sitting in your closet, you gotta get rid of it. The fact that it still has tags and has just been sitting in your closet unworn, it's, it's, it's a sign. And this coat, I'm definitely going to be selling it. All right, so now we've gone through my closet, we're gonna head over to my wardrobe. When it comes to socks and undergarments, those are two things that get worn all the time, so they get worn all the time. It's gonna get worn out. It's going to get dirty, rip, torn, stained. So I'm just gonna go through my sock and underwear drawer and I'm gonna find all the stained, torn, ripped, dirty, and broken things. Ooh, okay, so this is a good example. I got this pair of socks for Christmas a couple years ago for my grandma and they're super duper cute. But the thing with these socks is I have worn them many, many times and they're just really worn out. So these, I'm gonna toss. Later. So now I have my huge pile of clothes that I'm going to be selling. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to sell on Poshmark. So the first thing you're going to need is your phone. We're going to go to the Poshmark app. If you guys don't already have the Poshmark app, head to the description box and find my link and you can easily download Poshmark from there. After that, you're gonna make a Poshmark account. All you have to do to sell your clothes is go to the sell button and it's going to open up a camera. Then all you have to do right from the app, take a picture you take your first photo you have all of these options to add another photo and to add details describing it the category brand size tags etc and so forth you just fill all that out it's super quick and easy so i'm just going to take a couple more photos that way i can show the buyer what it really looks like and i'm going to list these for 12 dollars so at the bottom, it shows you what your earnings are when it sells. And my earnings for these shorts would be $9.05. Pretty good for shorts that are just sitting in my dresser, not being worn. And now by listing them on Poshmark, I can earn some money. After you type in your listing price, you just hit next and list. Then if you go down to your profile and hit my closet, you can see all of the pieces that you listed. And if you guys wanna shop my closet and pick up some of these pieces that you guys have seen in this video, and some other ones that you may not have seen before. Go check out my Poshmark account. I'll have the link down in the description box. So another really cool thing you can do on Poshmark besides sell your things is to shop. So if you're looking for a name brand piece, let's say Free People, you can just scroll through the Free People section and browse different things from Free People. Another cool thing you can do while you're shopping is if you're looking for a specific item, let's say the famous Gucci belt that everybody's loving right now, all you have to do is type in Gucci belt and there you go, a ton of much more affordably priced Gucci belts. So Poshmark has a ton of brands and you can literally find anything for a much more affordable price. Now that I've listed those shorts, I'm just gonna go through and list everything else and I'll hit you back when everything's listed. Alrighty, so now that we've cleaned out our closet of all the things we're not wearing anymore and we listed all our stuff that we're gonna be selling, we're gonna talk about organization. In my closet, I have a lot of outerwear and now that it's spring heading into summer, I'm not gonna be wearing most of this. So I'm just gonna go through and pick out all of the winter things that I'm not gonna be wearing and I'm gonna put it away. So for storage, I'm just using plastic bins. They look like this. You can get them super cheap at Target for like $10. George is here. Hi, George. George does not want to be here. Um, hi, baby. Okay, just try to think of places. <laughs> With a bunch of those bulky winter clothes out of my way, I have a ton of space in my closet to play with. Now my organization tip when it comes to drawers is instead of laying things flat like this and stacking them high, lay them instead up like this so that way you can see a sliver of each piece of clothing. So the reason that this is beneficial is that if your clothes are sitting face up where you can see a sliver of each piece of clothing, you always know what's in your drawer. This is such a time saver because you can see everything at once. You don't have to go digging trying to find a certain shirt. Instead, you just open your drawer and you can see everything laid flat and you can easily find the shirt you're looking for. Another great way to stay organized is to order things by type. So I like to keep all of my t-shirts in one row. So all of these are short sleeve t-shirts. These are my tank tops. I'll have a row for long sleeves and sleeping shirts on another side. Alrighty guys, so that was a super long video. It took kind of a while to clean it all out, but we did it, we're here. I hope this video was helpful to you guys if you're currently trying to spring clean your wardrobe. And that's kind of it for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any video requests, let me know. So that's it for today. I'm gonna go cook dinner. I'm making salmon tonight. So good, it's one of my best recipes I have. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.